All right, Illini football fans, this game is over. First half, tight end drops a touchdown. That's his shame, his disgrace. The referee calls pass interference on Witherspoon, which was not. That should have been an interception. That's his shame, his disgrace. Right after that, for some unknown reason, which you have to ask after the game who was responsible for it, you didn't have your best corner against their best receiver. And what happened? Quan miss jumps, and it leads to an easy touchdown catch. Why wasn't Witherspoon on their best receiver after that play? So that's the first half. Uh, Second half. Oh, first half, Purdue played with heart, passion, desire, fire. Illinois went through the motions in the first half. Uh, Second half, uh, Purdue comes out with the passion, the fire, the fight. Illinois responds, but then Illinois' defense completely collapses mentally and emotionally. They literally had how many? Six penalties on one drive that led to a touchdown. So mentally and emotionally, this Illini team is weak. Um, That's pretty obvious now. So what is it? 11, 12 penalties. Over 100 yards, well over 100. Unbelievable. So, where do you go from here? You're going to get blown up by Michigan. Now you're on a three-game losing streak. Then you play Northwestern in Chicago. And you might as well lose that game too. What's the point? Their season's over. A pathetic loss. This is this is one of the worst losses in Illinois football history. You're losing it at home to a Purdue team that sucks. There's no way you can spin this in Illinois' favor. The referees did not lose this game for Illinois. Illinois players and coaching lost this game for Illinois. The referee had nothing to do with that tight end dropping that touchdown pass. The referee had nothing to do with Witherspoon not not matching up with Purdue's best receiver. Um, the referees had nothing to do with Illinois' defense being mentally and emotionally weak and committing 15-yard personal foul penalties. That was the players. Did the refs suck? Yes. Are they Purdue fans? Obviously. But at the end of the day, Illinois could have won this game, but they didn't. Mentally, emotionally weak, pathetic players. Uh, This team just sucks. They're ahead of schedule. They're only in this position because Wisconsin and Iowa suck. But Illinois has fallen to earth. You know, Illinois was in the sewers, a program that no one outside of Illinois even knew existed. And they go on a little winning streak, play some defense against horrible offensive teams. National media talks about them. It's a good feel-good story. Hey, there's a team called Illinois. They play football. National story. Feel-good story. And what do they do? They go lose to Michigan State, a terrible team. Then they double down and lose to a terrible team, Purdue, at home again. That's Illini football. Anytime they try to rise up to do something, it always comes. Like it's like it's like Cinderella, and it struck midnight, and the carriage turned into a big pumpkin. That's Illinois football, and basketball for that matter. Illinois just can't rise up. They just can't. And it makes me sick. And you may be wondering, there's over six minutes left in the game. How can you say they're going to lose? How can you make this video right now? Easy. Because I know Illinois football. I know this team. This is a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. And... um. 
There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, they got the running game got shut down, as we can see. Um, Chase Brown got completely shut down. I mean, annihilated. Offensive line can't run block. Uh, Tommy, not very accurate today. He was the most inaccurate he's ever been for the Illini. So that's not good. So we'll just look at it. Uh, total yards, passing yards, rushing yards, yards per play, produced dominating. First downs, produced dominating. Third down efficiency, uh, produced winning that also. Um, punts, seven punts for Illinois, only three for Purdue. Penalties, 12 penalties, 121 yards. Time possession, Illinois got back up. Now it's 26-26. So, you know, after the game, the easy thing is to blame the refs. That's the easy thing to say. Well, the refs cost us the game. That's easy. They'll forget about the tight end dropping the touchdown. They'll forget about Witherspoon not matching up with Purdue's best receiver after that horrible call by the ref. They'll, they won't remember the six penalties that led Purdue to a scoring uh, touchdown drive. Um, they won't remember those things, but I will. And I'm glad they mentioned during the broadcast, Illinois' red zone offense was ranked 111th in the country. It's been pathetically bad, and I've been saying this all year long. Um, it's all about touchdowns. Field goals are meaningless. Only in certain situations do you kick a field goal. But Illinois' red zone offense has been better today. Um, unfortunately, it just hasn't been good enough. They just can't move the ball. Uh, Chase Brown's been shut down. The defense has been um, just penalty after penalty. The offense got into the penalty game. So the, the, the offense, they said, hey, if the defense can get, you know, 10 penalties, why can't we jump in and get some penalties ourselves? So offensive line committing penalties now, receivers. Um, at the end of the day, Brett Bielema at the podium, just come out and just say, look, the first half we had no heart, no fire, no passion, and it showed. The second half, we had no discipline. We were emotionally and mentally weak. And we couldn't run the ball effectively. And as um, far as passing the ball, uh, Tommy was his most inaccurate today. And that's just the facts. And also, our season's over. If you think you're beating Michigan, um, smack yourself. Michigan's going to beat them by 50. I promise you that. Michigan will rush for 400 yards. Um, easily. They're going to rack up over 50 points. Piece of cake. So they're going to lose to Michigan. That's three losses in a row. And then they're going to go to Northwestern. You already lost three in a row. And you might as well lose four. So they're going to lose at Northwestern. They'll go to a little crappy bowl game. And they'll lose that too. So what a year. What a year. Start off with a terrible loss to Indiana. Then you go on a winning streak against horrible teams. And then when the whole world is talking about you, what do you do? You, you lose to Michigan State, a bum team. Then you double it up by losing to another bum team in Purdue. And now you're going to lose to Michigan. That's that's no problem. That's not a shame. But then you get beat by Northwestern to, to end the season. Four-game losing streak. And then you go to the bowl game, that's five. So Illinois is going to go on a five-game losing streak to end, this, to end this year. What a year. You've been high, and now you're very low, back to the sewers. This loss is devastating. The recruiting was heating up. People actually were hearing about Illinois. So the recruiting was lifted, but they've ruined that. 
Um, the fans, they started to possibly believe there could be hope, but that's ruined. Um, national media, you'll be forgotten. No one's talking about you anymore because you suck. Um, like I said, did Illinois ever have the best defense in the country? No, that's stupid. Um, they played against bum teams, but, uh, Ryan Walters is the best defensive coordinator. Remember his players are zero star players and he's maximized them to their ultimate potential. But today in the second half, his defense has shown a level of mental and emotional weakness that I haven't seen all year in the last two years from this um, defense. So what a day, what a day. Um, if you're Illinois, after this game, uh, start a fight with Purdue. Just fight them. You couldn't win the football game, but maybe you can win the fight. So who cares if you get suspended? Your season's over with anyway. It doesn't matter. Uh, make a statement. Just have a riot. Just have a riot. Just set Purdue's buses on fire. Um, go into a locker room and just have a, have a riot. Just make a make a statement, man. Oh, I laugh because it's so sad. I want to cry. This is pathetic. What a joke. So, um, you know, even with all this said, there's going to be some Illinois fans that are going to have hope. They're going to hope. They're going to say, well, you know, uh, maybe we, uh, uh, you know, uh, maybe we can beat Michigan. No, you can't. Oh, uh, well, maybe we'll lose to Michigan, but we can beat Northwestern and maybe – Maybe uh, Purdue will lose to this team, and maybe Wisconsin will lose to this team, and Iowa will lose to this team. And no, 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 no. You remember this. Illinois had it all in the palm of their hands. One loss. The whole world was in their hands, and they go out at home against Michigan State, and they blow it. Then they double it down by losing to Purdue at home. Illinois had it all in their hands, and they dropped it. It's like being in the end zone, wide open. The quarterback throws it right to your chest, and you just drop it to win the game. There's no coming back from it. So anyway, um, the game's over. The season's over, and it, it's it's a shame. What a way to lose through undisciplined crappy referees and terrible uh terrible uh, running game uh inaccurate quarterback play um and it's no wonder they don't sell out the student section at the football field it's pretty empty no one of the stadiums got a lot of empty seats because this team is they're frauds that's all there is to it they're frauds but i just say they're just a year ahead of time they're ahead of schedule and now the interception takes place and it's it's over like i said it's over illinois sucks